Hey, it's Dan again on my prayer tailgate party. Glad you could join me on this moment of anticipation of what Christ is going to do. Kind of like a football game before the game, you know, it's a tailgate party. It's an anticipation, uh, waiting on God. And not a lot we can do right now except wait on Him and cry out to Him and consider ourselves and kind of check ourselves, reset our faith maybe, think about things, take a Sabbath, uh, take the advantage of times of contemplation, meditation, prayer. And that's what I want to do. I just want to pray right now that, you know, that God would open up some enlightenment moment for us and pour out His Holy Spirit on us, bring a revival among His people. That's the key. The key is God's people if they will humble themselves and pray. So let's just humble ourselves for a moment and pray and ask Him to heal our land. But first, He wants to heal our hearts. Father, thank You that there's life all around. There's birds flying. There's machinery in the fields. There's, Lord, I hear noises and people moving about. And even though we're so far apart physically, life is going on. And Life will go on until you call the trumpet sound when that day ends. And Father, during this time, this pause, this reset moment in our lives, I pray, Lord, that we would all really think about what we're doing. Why do we do what we do and recommit to those things that bring about the advancement of the kingdom gospel in the earth? That's what you're about. Father, I pray that those who are on the fence would somehow to return to you, God, that Lord, those people that don't know you would repent and come to know you, Father, before it's too late. This is another warning shot we've been given, another opportunity to come to you as a world, as a nation, as a community, and as people. Father, I pray as we would have our hearts examined by you during this time, help us. Help us not miss the moment. Help us not, not just lay back and try to figure out how to get more money or how to save ourselves, but Father, rather realize that we are connected to a greater cause. World evangelization, the discipleship making of the world is what you're after. And I pray, Father, that we would see that fruit of that, that, that fruit of the power of the Holy Spirit moving out. Revival, revival all over the world, Father, could break loose at any moment. I'm praying, God, that you would help revival to begin in us. Lord, our hearts to turn to you. Lord, keep us in unity. Lord, that perfect bond of peace. Keep us there, Lord. Help us to move in unity as one man. Father, don't, help us don't get deceived and sidetracked with issues right now. Help us, Father, to, to really come into unity with you. Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you you have not left us here as orphans. And Lord, we wait with anticipation of what you're doing in the earth. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you have a good day. I hope that your family's doing well. I hope you'll be safe in Jesus. Until next time, God bless you. Bye.